Hello, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? How are you tonight? I'm fine, thank you. I'm amazing. Okay. Very much. Happy. Good, good. I'm, I'm glad to see all of you today. I'm having a good day. All right. Um, so let's turn on the camera. Let's turn on the camera. Vamos a tomar la captura. Can you turn on your camera, please? Okay, let's do attendance. Okay, today is uh, March 18. This is our class number 16, okay? This will be our last class for, for this module. So welcome, ya todos terminaron, All right? So tenía, tenía algunas personas pendientes. Um, let me see. Eh, les mandé un mensaje, creo que ya la mayoría terminó, pero sí necesito esas personas, sería Pablo. Pablo, Pablo, no sé si está aquí. Um, Rebeca Saraí. Eh, Silsa Saraí. And Vanessa del Carmen. Eh, cre creo que no están acá. Okay. All right. Let's do attendance. Okay, attendance. Uh, Freddie Emerson. Freddie Emerson, Mayra Roxana. Eh, Mayra Roxana, no, eh, solo que no la escucho, Mayra. No sé si tiene el micrófono. Eh, Mayra, no sé si está ahí. Eh, eh, la veo, pero no la escucho. Si quiere, eh, trate de, de, de trabajar en eso del micrófono y ahí, ahí me, me responde después. Eh, Okay, so Mayra is here. Monica Esther. Present. Natalie Priscilla. Natalie Priscilla. Okay, Pablo Alejandro. Pablo Alejandro. Paola Maria Alvarado. Present. Pavel Eduardo. Present. Rafael Antonio Morales. Present. Rebecca Saraí. Rebecca Saraí. Okay. El Rodrigo Antonio Meléndez. Present. No Rodrigo. sé si me escucha ahorita, teacher. Eh, sí, ahora sí, Mayra, ya le escucho. Okay. Ya la marco. Presente. Ok, thank, thank you. you. Rolando, eh, perdón, Rodrigo Daniel. Present. Rolando Eliseo. Present. Rosa del Carmen. Present. Ruby Guardón. Present. Okay. Ruth del Carmen. Present. Sandra Elizabeth Espinal. Sandra Elizabeth Espinal. Eh, eh, Sandra Lisette Merlos. Present teacher. Sergio Javier Díaz. Present teacher. Silvia Raquel Rodríguez. Present. Silsa Saraí. Silsa Saraí. Tania Fabiola. Present teacher. Tatiana Beatriz. Present. Tatiana Yamilet. Tania Jasmine. Vanessa del Carmen. Verónica de Los Ángeles. Present teacher. Eh, ok. Eh, Wilber Alexander. 
Wilfredo Alberto. Sochli Alexandra. Present. And Janira Marisol. Okay, um, alguien que no escuchó su nombre? No? Okay. All right, very good guys, so welcome. Let me share with you the, the guide. Give me a second, solo voy a abrir la guía. Okay, welcome everybody. So I just want to review with you a little bit. Um, repasemos un poco uh, some of the things that we saw. Okay, so remember that we saw, right, in this module, we saw the verb to be, very important, right? El, el fundamento del inglés is the verb to be. So um, what, did you, what did you learn about the verb to be? Give me an example. I, uh -huh. I am a student. I am, mm -hmm. I I am, am a pilot. student. I am a pilot. I am a student, right? Okay. Now, what if I am talking about another person? If I am talking about another person? She, she is a student. She is a student. Very good, so I use is, right? She's a student, I use is. Uh, what about if I am talking about a, a two people or more? They are a student. They are students. They are, we are. Mm -hmm. They are, we are. Very good. Now, she, what, here I have a student. Here, I don't have a. Why? Why don't I have a there? Porque ya está diciendo que son. Okay. Exactly. But here I have a. This is singular. Singular. Correct. Right. Here I don't have a. Plural. Because it's plural. Correct. Right. So a es un artículo, pero solo para singular. Right. If I am speaking students, plural. I don't use a, I say they are students, okay? Very good. What about negative statements with the verb to be? Negative statements. I am not singer. I, uh, I am not? I what? singer. Singer. I'm a not singer. a singer. Mm -hmm. I am not a singer. Very good, excellent. Okay, she is not a singer. Or I can say they are not a singer. Yeah, is that correct? No. No, it's singers. 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 I am not a singer. She's not a singer. They are not singers. Very good. What about questions with the verb to be? Yes or no questions? Are you a singer? I... Are you a singer? Very good. Mm -hmm. Now, no voy a usar I aquí. ¿Por qué? Porque no me voy a hacer la pregunta a mí mismo. Right? Normally, I'm going to ask the question to another person. Um, what else? What if, what if I use she? Is, is, is she, she a singer? A singer? Is she a singer? Correct. Um, what about- Are they uh, a singer? They, are they a singer? Are they a singer? Mm, ¿Qué hay de malo aquí? El A. El A. Singers. Singers, right? Are they singers? Correct. Correct. Very good. Okay. So, questions, right? Ten, me pueden detener en cualquier momento because we're just reviewing.
Okay. All right, very good. Let's do now the simple present. Let's practice the simple present. The same thing, right? Simple present, I have positive, negative, and questions. Okay? Very good. So let's do simple present, positive. Give me an example. She is a doctor. No, it's a verb to be, not simple present. Um, I am studying English. Ese también es el verb to be, <laughs> no el simple present. Simple present. She cooks a uh, cake. Repeat. She cooks a cake. Okay, yes, that's an example. Very good. Right? Ese lo voy a poner acá porque ese es, tiene tercera persona. She cooks. She cooks mm, a cake. Okay. Oh, perdón. Hey, what happened? Ahí está. She cooks a cake. Okay. Now, I let's use... Be a hair teacher. Ah? Um, I am wearing a dress. No, eso no es simple present. Es a present continuous. Uh, okay. Okay. Present. Okay. Simple present is... The only thing I have to do is use the verb in the normal tense, okay? No uso verb to be, y, y no modifico el verbo. Like con, con la excepción de tercera persona. Pero el verbo es verbo base. Mm -hmm. uh, example? I play soccer. I play soccer, very good. That's an example, right? I play soccer, very good. That's an example, okay? Excellent. Si ustedes ven aquí, no hay modificación en el verbo. Es decir, no lo estoy poniendo en el pasado, en el presente continuo. No. Normal, right? Okay. So, I play soccer. Now, la única modificación es tercera persona. Right? So, let's use the same example. She plays soccer. Okay? Es la única modificación que se pone la S en el verbo. For she or he. Okay? Very good. She plays soccer. Uh, I can use plural too, right? They play soccer. Okay, no, there's no change. If you see, if I use plural, we, they, or you plural, the verb is the same. Okay. This is simple present. It's the simple present, lo más básico que puede ser. Simple present, okay? No se confundan con el verb to be. Aquí el verb to be, tengo I am, is, or are. Okay. También una cosa, diferencia importante, el verb to be es para describir lo que yo soy. Simple present es para describir mis acciones regulares. Okay, what about negative? ¿Mm? Digamos, I, I play soccer, but in negative. Alguien lo dijo? I don't play soccer. Escuché que alguien dijo I don't. Very good. I don't, I don't play soccer. Correct. I don't play soccer. Mm -hmm. Very good. So, uso el verbo auxiliar yeah. don't. Okay. Now, what about she or he? She doesn't play soccer. She doesn't play soccer. She doesn't play soccer, or he doesn't play soccer, okay? Very good. What about a plural? We, for example, we, ¿cuál uso? Do or does? We don't play soccer. Alguien está diciendo aren't. Aquí está metiendo el verb to be aquí. <laughs> no, aquí no hay verb to be. We don't play soccer. All right. All right. So la única modificación is he or she, tercera persona, no usamos do, usamos does. Okay. Very good. Now, questions. Do you, do you, play, you soccer? play soccer? Very good. Very good. Yes. Do you play soccer? Okay. Let's use he. 
Does he play soccer? Does he play soccer? Very good, very good. Right, so ahora estoy preguntando de una tercera persona. Does he play soccer? Okay. We? Or they, usemos they, para no incluirme yo allí. Usemos they. ¿Cuál uso? Quiero preguntar si ellos juegan soccer. Do they play soccer? Very good. Do they play soccer? Excellent. Good job. Okay. So this is simple present, guys. Este, esto. Hay dos reglas muy importantes en el simple present. ¿Las captaron? Number one. Rule number one is no, yeah. la modificación de la S en el verbo cuando uso he, she, or it. He, she, or it. Okay. La segunda regla es el uso de does. Esa, esas dos reglas son súper importantes. Questions? Do you have any questions? Preguntas? Question? Okay, excellent, right? So, review. Now, something that we learned in the simple present, le agregamos un gran montón de cosas, right? For example, frequency adverbs. Do you remember frequency adverbs? For example, I play soccer. Y quiero hablar de la frecuencia que hago eso. Frequency adverbs. Frequency adverbs, right? I want to talk about the frequency. So, what do I say? Always. I can use always. ¿Recuerdan? Usamos todos estos. Always, sometimes. Never. Never, okay. Remember? Usually. Usually, right? ¿Se acuerdan? Están fuera de orden ahí, lo estoy poniendo, pero no importa. Always, sometimes, never, usually. Very important, right? Because look, normally in English, we don't say, I play soccer. I say, I usually play soccer. I sometimes play soccer. Okay, for example. Oh, ya vamos a entrar ahí. Estoy adelantando, but when I answer, right? When I answer, I normally answer in with the frequency adverb. Okay. All right. So, hay otro tipo de palabras, de palabras, de preguntas, perdón. I don't know if you guys remember. Do you remember these? WH with do and does. ¿Recuerdan esta? Mm -hmm. Give me an example. What do you do? What do you do? Right? This is a very good question when you're having a conversation. You meet someone for the first time and you want to ask about their occupation. What do you do? Okay. Excellent. If I change this to she, what does she do? Okay. I can change it. Now, no solamente what, right? Podemos usar when. When do you play soccer? Okay. Y si quiero preguntarle, ¿dónde juega fútbol? How? How can I do that? Where, Where do, you, do you play soccer? Very good. Now, here the person, what do you do? Um, or uh, what, uh, what, when do you play soccer? So, voy a responder esa, pero voy a responder con frequency adverb. En el presente simple. I usually play, I usually play soccer um, on Saturdays. I usually play soccer on Saturdays. Okay. Estoy usando el simple present, pero estoy usando frequency adverbs, usually. Okay. Very good. También puede existir es, esto. When, dentro de la misma pregunta, la persona puede preguntar con frecuencia. For example, when 
do you usually play soccer? Okay. Cuando, pero estoy hablando, cuando usualmente juegas. When do you usually play soccer? Okay. So I have here, tengo usually frequency adverb, right? Dentro de mi pregunta. ¿Cómo la persona va a responder esto? When do you usually play soccer? ¿Cómo va a responder la persona? I play soccer on usually. Saturday. Voy a usar el mismo frequency adverb. Okay. I usually. I usually play soccer on Saturday. Correct. I usually play soccer on Saturdays. Okay. ¿Vieron? So mi, mi propia pregunta, mi WH question. Puede tener frequency adverbs también. Okay. Questions? Hasta acá, questions? Ok, so. Ah, se me olvidó una más. Voy a regresar. Ok. Que sería el verb to be. Pero con WH questions. Por ejemplo. What is your name? Ahí tengo is, el verb to be, ¿sí? Pero también tengo WH. What is your name? Okay. Where are you from? Where are you from? Right? Y recuerdan que aquí en la clase hicimos un gran montón de prácticas. Recuerden, ustedes hablaban con, en grupos, nos dividíamos, hablábamos. Yo les escribía un gran montón de estas preguntas. Ustedes... Le preguntaban a su compañero, right? ¿Qué, ¿Cuál más se acuerdan? How old are you? Right? Preguntas en una conversación por primera vez, right? Estoy hablando con alguien por primera vez, conociendo a una persona. What is your What name? You... Uh -huh. Sorry? Tell me. Uh -huh. ¿Sí? ¿Alguien ahí? How do you spell your first your last name? Okay, very good. How do you spell your last name? Okay. ¿Cuál otro eh, tipo de pregunta podría When ser? When is así? your birthday? Ah, yeah, very good, right? When is your birthday? When is your birthday? Okay. What is your favorite movie? Mm -hmm. What is your favorite movie? Ahí voy hablando, ¿verdad? What is your favorite movie? What is your favorite type of music? What is your favorite colors? Mm -hmm. What is your fav favorite singer? Uh, who? Ahí está, sería quién, right? Who? Who is your favorite singer? Okay. Excellent, right? So. Prácticamente les hemos dado todas las herramientas para que ustedes tengan una conversación con, con alguien sin trabarse. Una conversación en inglés. Full inglés. Right? Aquí tienen, en este, este cuadrito, ahorita he pasado 20 minutos acá con ustedes. En este cuadrito tienen todo para hablar 5 minutos con una persona en inglés. Sin traducir. Right? Tengo todas las herramientas acá. Right? So, con el verb to be, me voy a introducir, voy a preguntar qué hace, right? de dónde es. Ya con WH questions en el verb to be, puedo hacer todas estas preguntas que vemos acá. Tener una conversación ahí de tiempo largo. Y ya después puedo pasar a actividades. ¿Qué tipo de actividades hace la persona? Right? Ah... Uh, What do you do on the weekends? ¿Qué hacen los fines de semana? What do you do on your free time? What do you do at work? Okay. Y aquí puedo, puedo pasar cinco minutos hablando sin detenerme full inglés. Okay. Ustedes tienen todas las herramientas. Acá. All right. Questions? Hemos repasado. All right. All right. So we're going to have a conversation, right? 
small groups. I want you to talk to someone, right? La mayoría ya se conocen acá, pero tal vez no tan detalladamente. Ahora se pueden conocer un poco más profundo. ¿Sí? So yo quiero que ustedes se conozcan. Right? Meet someone. Speak to someone. Find out their age, their hobbies, their likes. Right? Hasta qué tipo de música le gusta. What is your favorite type of music? Okay. Busquen todo lo que puedan de esa persona. Okay. okay. All right, let's go to groups. We're going to go to groups, small groups. Okay. Todo lo que aprendieron en el módulo, ahora ustedes lo van a poner en práctica. Right? No problem. I know you can do it. Eh, Ruby, Ruby, hello, Verónica. Vayan a sus hello. grupos. Acepten la invitación, please. Vayan no a me los caigo grupos. nada. Ya se lo mandé. Lo voy a mandar otra vez, Ruby. Ah, a mí no me cayó nada. Tienen que estar en Zoom. Teacher, a mí no me... Ya se la mandé otra vez. Los asigné a otro grupo. Teacher, no me cae nada. No sé qué está pasando porque se la estoy mandando. ¿Está, ¿Está segura que está en Zoom? Sí. Ok, en Zoom dice un mensaje que dice, se les ha pedido que vaya a tal grupo, acepte la invitación. Rodrigo, what do you do on weekends? I use only read books or maybe go to play basketball. Where is your favorite book? Um, my favorite book and I don't have one. Where's your baby? Can can you hear this? Mm, maybe the classic, like Moonlight, music of Beethoven, Shelby, 
that, that that's right um where is your favorite color and um, maybe blue what is your last name my last name is melendez Can you spell your last name? Yes, M E L E N D E Z. Where are you from? I'm from El Salvador. Where do you live? I live in the Department of La Paz. Nice to meet you, Rodrigo. Nice to meet you too, Rolando. How old are you? I'm 23 years old. And you? Okay. I, I am 30 years old. Uh, what do you call it? What is your favorite color? Um, blue. Blue. Okay. My favorite color is sky blue. What is your favorite singer? Uh, I don't have one. And you? It's Ricardo Montaner because he is romantic. My favorite. What is your favorite movie? <laughs> I don't have one. Okay. What is your favorite drink? And um, I like the lemonade. And you? What's your favorite drink, Rolando? My favorite drink is a coffee. I love coffee. What are your favorite hobbies? Maybe read books and play basketball. Me too. I love play basketball. Okay, and what do you do? I I I am a business administrator. And what about you? Okay, Actually, I'm I am a student. Okay. Where do you live? I live in La Paz. Okay. The Department of El Salvador. Okay. Hello, Ruby. Nice to meet you. Hello, nice to meet you too. Hey, Sochin. Hi. Mayra, how are you today? I'm fine, thank you. Um, Excellent. And oh, what do you do on Saturday, Myra? Repeat, please. What do you do on Saturday? Oh, and the Saturday I go to the church. Excellent. Ruby, what do you do on Sunday? Uh, I Sunday I go shopping. Excellent. Okay. So we have we have new people. Tenemos a Mayra, right? So voy a estar cambiando los grupos. So new people are going to come in, right? Yo no tengo cámara, teacher, que tengo dos de carga. Por eso me salí del grupo. 
se me apagó. Okay. No, no hay problema. All right, so, eh, Mayra es nuevo al grupo aquí. No sé quién, quién quisiera hacer una conversación con Mayra. Ya estamos hablando. Ah, perdón, ok. <risa> Acabo de ingresar. <risa> sí. Ok, done. Dale, go. Five minutes, five minutes. Gracias. Eh, no sé con quiénes estamos ahorita. Hi, Mayra. My name is Fabiola. What is your, your favorite movie? Um, Dime. No, o sea, yo quería saber de cómo sería para preguntar eh, los libros sobre esas materias. Mm, o, o por ejemplo, ¿cómo sería, cómo sería tu materia favorita? No, pero es que no es materia favorita. Asignatura. Ajá, ajá, asignatura. No recuerdo cómo se pronuncia asignatura. 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 Subject. Se dice subject. Subject, vaya. Ah, subject. Subject. Uh -huh. um, my, my, my subject favorite is uh, teacher, how do you say psicología del desarrollo? <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> difficult. Uh, it's a psychological development. Maestra, es este one. En psico... ¿Para decir psicopatología? No, I don't know. O sea, ahí estás entrando. El tema es que yo no sé nada de eso. La materia es lo que me gusta. Ajá. Okay. Uh -huh. like, genial soy. You, you can say psychology. I like psychology. Ajá. Uh -huh. I like psychology. Ajá. Uh -huh. Eh... Uh -huh. Are you, are you working today? Uh, no. Uh, uh, freeze, I am not free. Freeze day, ¿cómo sería un día libre? Hoy tuve un día libre, pero no fue. Uh, sí, ahora era tu día libre. Mm -hmm. So you say, today was my day off. Day off. Day off. Day today was my day off. Today was my day off. Today was my uh, day off. Uh -huh. And and Cap. tell me what what are you wearing today? Wearing. ¿Qué estás usando este día? ¿Qué ropa ah, usas? wearing. Um, I am wearing to jeans, <laughs> jeans, uh, and the shirt. Black. Ah, ¿se, se acuerdan que aprendimos ese tema? Clothes. Mm -hmm. right. Yes. Y si quiero describir el color, por ejemplo, pongo el adjetivo antes, ¿verdad? Right? Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, por ejemplo, I am, I am uh, wearing a black shirt and red shorts and uh -huh. brown sandals. Okay, good, good, uh -huh. excellent. Okay, very good, guys. Let's. We're going to finish up right now. Okay. Ruth. Okay. Oi. Diga. Are you tall or are you short? Are you qué? Are you tall or are you short? Eres alta o eres pequeña? Ah, uh, um, so I am tall. <laughs> <Do> you? <laughs> eh, It's middle. No sé I cómo am, decir como. I am, I am middle. Medium height. I am middle. medium height. Medium ah. <laughs> okay. Uh, are you medium a little height. heavy? Hola. Are you a little heavy? Are you a, are you a little heavy? Little heavy. What? We are very close. Aileen Zacatecoluca. I work in San Vicente. What is your work, your job?
What is your job, Rosa? Uh, what is your occupation? Right? Okay. Thank mm -hmm. you. Confundo yo con work is the occupation. Mm -hmm. okay. My occupation product assistant. Okay. You can also say um, I am a production assistant. I am. I am. Mm -hmm. Yo soy. Right? I am teacher. production assistant. Right? <laughs> Good. Okay. Right, porque estamos describiendo algo que somos, right? So we use the yes, word. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Nice to meet you. Okay, very good, very good, guys. So uh, I heard very good questions, right? Eh, escríbame aquí en el chat algunas preguntas que hicieron. Escuché algunas buenas preguntas. Por ejemplo, where do you live? Okay. Very good question. Escríbame aquí en el chat algunas de las preguntas que hicieron. In the conversation. Okay. Do you have children? Very good, that's a good question. Mm -hmm. What is your favorite movie? Where do you live? Very good, Rodrigo. What are you doing? Okay. What is your hobby? Very good. Mm -hmm. Very good. What do you do in your free time? Okay, very good, very good, Fabiola. Okay. What is your favorite food? Ah, very good. Ahora están hablando ahora de gustos, ¿verdad? What is your favorite type of food? What is your occupation? Very good. How do you feel? Good. Eh, Mayra, you said, what do you wear now? Or sería, what are you wearing now? Ay, esa, esa tendría que ser una acción presente continua. What are you wearing now? Uh, Sergio, how do you work? ¿Cómo trabajas, Sergio? ¿Cómo trabajas o dónde trabajas? ¿O qué haces? <laughs> what your favorite color? Uh, ¿Qué te falta ahí, Rosa? You need something there? What do you need? Falta algo ahí. The verb to be, right? What is your favorite food? What is your favorite place? Very good. What do you go? Eh, Rafael Antonio, what do you go? Esa, um, no, esa sería maybe, no sé si, no sé si quieres pregunt preguntar a dónde vas. Sí, eso. Quería, pre quería escribir, uh, what do you do? Me equivoqué. Ah, ok, ok, ok. Ok, very good. What your favorite TV program? No, ahí te falta algo, Mónica. ¿Qué te falta ahí? Te falta algo muy importante ahí. Yes. 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 Very good. What do you do? Uh, what do you do on Saturday? Very good. Excellent, right? So, aquí podemos hablar de diferentes temas, ¿verdad? Acciones, eh, eh, hábitos, comidas, músicas, eh, entretenimiento, familia. Right? How many children do you have? Okay. Very good. Location, donde vivo. Excellent. Very good. So, de aquí puedo hacer mucho, ¿verdad? Y ustedes han hecho un buen trabajo. Los felicito. Okay. All right. Let's continue. Solo estamos repasando algunos temas. Okay. Look at this picture here. Under, on, in, behind, besides or in front, okay? So what can you describe from this picture, Aki? ¿Qué pueden describir? What can you describe?
Hmm? If there is a bike. Aha, uh -huh, pero you try to use in, on, next to, beside. Try the to computer, use the preposition. The computer is next to the mm -hmm. lamp. Okay, the computer is next to the lamp. Very computer, good. Computer is on the desk. Yes, very good, very good. That's the bag is next to the in the bed. The bed. The bag is next to the bed. Yes. Mm -hmm. The bag part is between the chair and the bed. Excellent. Very good. Okay. Between. Between. The dog is on the bed. The, the dog is on the bed. Donde está el perro? Muñeca. No, dog. Oh, the dog. Oh, D O L. Yes, dog. Sorry. Sorry. The dog is on the bed. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Basurero, ¿cómo se dice, teacher? Uh, you can say trash can. Trash can. <laughs> eso, eso chiquito se le dice. Eso chiquito se le dicen trash cans. A los grandes, garbage can. Okay, I'm sorry, Fabiola. Repeat. The gift uh -huh. is on the bed. Yes. The gift is on the bed. También se le dice present, right? You can also say present. The present is on the bed. Okay. The table is is on front of the chair. Mm -hmm. Or behind, right? The table is behind. The si lo estoy viendo desde aquí, sería behind, right? The paper is inside the trash can. Ah, very good. Good use of inside. Inside the clock is adentro de algo. Uh -huh. I'm sorry. Rodrigo, the clock Arabal. is the clock is in front the win to the window. Yes, the clock is in front of the window. In front of the window. Okay. Where is the camera? Regalo sería gift. Regalo puede ser gift or present. La, la dos. Sí, entonces the gift is mm -hmm. on the bed. Yes. Mm -hmm. What the about scissor, the, mm -hmm. the scissor mm -hmm. is in front of clients. Mm -hmm. Very good. The only thing, Fabiola, that scissors is plural. The scissors. The scissors are. Yes, the scissors are. Very the good. Photo the photo is on the wall. The photo. The photo is on the wall. The photo is on the wall. But where is the camera? The ball is uh, next to the bed. Mm -hmm. Where are the books? The books are on mall. On How do you say? Bookshelf. Eso se llama bookshelf. 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 Uh, let me write it here. Book. Shelf. Bookshelf. Bueno, I solo es una, so it's bookshelf. Mm -hmm. Teacher, how do you say peluche in English? Uh, teddy bear. Aunque tal vez no es un bear, pero se le conoce siempre como teddy bear. Teddy bear. Mm -hmm. Excellent, very good, very good, guys. Okay, so un repaso de las prepositions, right? Just a little small. Teacher, podría ser una, the comet is mm -hmm. on the bed. Uh, let me see, go back. The comet, uh, this is called, uh, this, esto? Sí. Uh -huh. This is called a kite in English. Kite. Kite. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Very good. Okay. Uh -huh. on the bed. Uh -huh. Okay. Very good. Excellent, guys. Right. So 
Les dejo estas tablas que están aquí. Son tablas de referencia. Ustedes pueden usar. Ok. So, guarden estas. Uh, for example, I and then the verb to be, right? I am late. You are late. They are late. Ok. Very good. So, el verb to be no solamente es para describir lo que yo soy, sino mi estado. Mi estado de ser. Right? Por ejemplo, ustedes aprendieron, I am a teacher. Right? Uh, I am a lawyer. Un abogado. Okay? So, that's fine. This is what you learn, right? But el verb to be no solamente es para lo que soy, sino el estado de ser. For example, I am late to the meeting. Soy tarde para la reunión. I am late to the meeting. Okay? Also, I am sad. I am sad today. Estoy triste. Okay? I am sad today. Okay? Very good. So, the, this is the verb to be. Right? Y ustedes aprendieron también positivo, negativo y questions. Right? Remember? So we did positive, negative, and questions. Okay. Very good. Next, number two, is that we have the simple present. Right? El que aprendimos, simple present. I speak English. Yes, now you do, right? Ahora sí hablan inglés ustedes, right? Now you speak English, right? Basic English, but you speak English. Okay? He speaks, right? You put an S on the verb. He, she. Okay. Very good. Simple present. Igual, tiene positive. Positive. Negative. And question. Tienen que hacer las tres. Porque... Y hay una más, ¿se acuerdan? WH. Questions. Right? So, en realidad, no han manejado el simple present hasta que pueden hacer las cuatro. ¿Ok? Solamente aprender el simple present en esta forma es solamente aprenderlo de forma positiva. ¿Ok? Pero ustedes vieron que por veces eso no es suficiente. Tengo que hacer preguntas. Tengo que... ¿Right? Remember, negative tenemos el uso de do and does. In negative. Okay. Very good. Right. So le di otras que le va a ayudar a ustedes también. Si quieren estudiar este fin de semana. Uh, yes or no questions with do. Esto también lo aprendimos nosotros. Right. Uh, do you know them? Do, for example, do you play soccer? Right. Does she eat meat? Right. Aquí le puedo agregar el verbo like que ustedes aprendieron para gustos. Por ejemplo, do you like chicken? Do you like pupusas? Yeah. Ok. Very good. Ok. And then we have short answers, right? ¿Cómo puedo responder? Yes, I do. Right. Yes, I do. Yes, she does. No, you don't. Yes, she does. Right? So, hay que responder también en negativo y positivo. All right. Then we have information questions. Con esto terminamos, like, WH questions, right? With do and does. WH questions. Ya está la que hicieron a ustedes ahorita, right? En la práctica ahorita. Right? Excellent. All right. So, aprendieron bastante. All right. Espero que sí hayan aprendido bastante. Okay. Let's do attendance. Let's check attendance for today. Eh, ya terminamos en cinco minutos, guys. Okay. All right. Eh, Freddy Emerson. Absent. Mayra Roxana. Present teacher. Okay. Monica Esther. Present. Oh. Tiene un eco. <laughs> All right. Natalia Priscilla. Pablo Alejandro. 
Paola Alvarado. Present. Pavel Eduardo. Present. Rafael Antonio. Present. Okay. Very good. Rebecca Saray. Rodrigo Antonio Melendez. Present. Rodrigo Daniel Melendez. Present. Rolando Eliseo Martinez. Present. Rosa del Carmen. Present. Ruby Guardón. Present. Eh, Ruth del Carmen. Present. Sandra Elizabeth Espinal. Sandra Lisette. Present teacher. Okay. Sergio Javier. Present teacher. Okay. Silvia Raquel. Present. Okay. Silsa Saray. Tania Fabiola. Tania Present Fabiola. teacher. Ah, ahí está. Okay. Tatiana Beatriz. Present. Tania, perdón, Tatiana Yamilet. Tania Jasmine. Present teacher. Vanessa del Carmen. Vanessa del Carmen. Eh, Verónica de Los Ángeles. Present teacher. Okay. Wilber Alexander. Wil, eh, Wilfredo Alberto. Sochli Alexandra. Present. En Yanira Marisol Barahona. Ok, very guys. Uh, so, solo tengo dos minutos. Les doy gracias por estar aquí. Ustedes constante con todo el trabajo que ustedes hicieron en la plataforma. Eh, el sacrificio por estar acá. Es un sacrificio corto, pero imagínense sacrificarnos un año y después de eso ya tienen ustedes algo que nunca se les va a olvidar. ¿Verdad? El, los idiomas no se olvidan. Eh, se nos puede olvidar algunas cosas, pero es falta de práctica. Ya cuando ustedes tengan la base, en realidad nunca se les va a olvidar. ¿Okay? Y yo sé que ustedes lo van a practicar, lo van a usar en sus trabajos, cuando ustedes viajen, con sus familiares. Lo que ustedes que están más jóvenes, ustedes ya tienen que estar pensando, este idioma yo lo voy a enseñar a mi hijo. En dos generaciones nosotros vamos a ser bilingües en este país. Okay. Aquí se va a hablar inglés y español. Se va a estudiar en inglés y español. Ese es el futuro de acá. Right? Entonces, ustedes que están aprendiendo, ya enséñenle a, su, a, su, a sus hijos. ¿Verdad? ¿Para qué pagar? <ríe> que alguien le enseñe. Ustedes están aprendiendo, ustedes les pueden enseñar. Ok. Los, los, los animo, ¿verdad? Para que ustedes continúen, sigan para adelante. Eh, yo sé que todavía dicen, ah, tengo, pero tengo como 10 módulos todavía. <ríe> no importa. Eh, no se enfoquen en eso, sino enfóquense en todo lo que aprendieron, ¿verdad? Eso, esa es la, la, la motivación. Ok, solo los dejo. Muchas gracias. Gracias, gracias. Ahí estamos, gracias, ¿verdad? Gracias. 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 Gracias.